<laughs> Praise the Lord. Right there, Doc, I had here, a.k.a. Brother Liberty Jr. Brother says, we turn our Bibles to Mark chapter 2. We'll be looking verses 5 to 8. And it reads, when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts. Why doth this man, why this man does speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, why reason ye these things in your hearts? Read the Lord out of blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the animation, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. I'm a brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord, Savior. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, in Matthew chapter 9, Mark chapter 2, and Luke chapter 5, we see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's, he's in a house. It's crowded. And, 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 and he's in that house preaching the gospel of grace, preaching the kingdom of God, preaching the things of God to a captive audience. Meanwhile, outside, there was four individuals carrying their paralyzed friend on a stretcher to go to Jesus so Jesus could heal their friends. When they got there, these four individuals carrying this um, their paralyzed friend on, on a stretcher, it, it was crowded, the house and they couldn't get in. So that what they decided to do was uh, climb up on the roof with their uh, paralyzed friend on the stretcher. And when they got to the roof, the four friends were carrying the paralyzed friend on, on, on the stretcher. They, they, they broke the roof and, and they lowered their, their friend down to where Jesus was, was teaching and preaching the, the gospel of grace in that crowded house. To, before a captive audience, and so when they when the ceiling broke and 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 and, and Jesus uh, and the, and the audience also saw that uh, a, a man on a stretcher was being lowered, it goes on to say that Jesus saw the the, the paralyzed man's faith. He also saw the four friends' faith, and and, and so when, when it lowered. Jesus then said to the to the paralyzed man on, on the on the stretcher who's being lowered, "Son, your for, your sins are forgiven." And when Jesus is saying that, he's saying uh, your, your, your 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 past sins are forgiven, your your sins that you're doing now are forgiven, and, and, and your future sins are, are are forgiven. And and when and, and when the listening audience heard that, the, 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 they they were. Oh, oh, wait a minute. He's he being blasphemous. Uh, only, only God can forgive sins. Then the, 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 the individual writers of their respective um, um, books, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, they go on to give uh, an insight to how Jesus was thinking, where they said, Jesus perceived in their, perceived in his spirit. And the, the audience was reasoning in their heart. Jesus was perceiving in his spirit. The, 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 the spirit of God, the, 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 the things of God, the, 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 the spirit. But the audience, when, 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 when Jesus said, son, thy sins are forgiven thee, they were reasoning in their hearts. They were reasoning based on their feelings. They were reasoning based on uh, the, the circumstances, the situation. They were reasoning based on maybe uh, um, wrong teachings. Uh, they were reasoning based on the law. And, and, and they were reasoning based on their human, uh, human conjecture human assumption 
human suppositions, human theories. They were basing on that. And, and when you think that way, you got to sit there and process, you got to go through, you got to add, you, you got to try to justify, you got to try to make sense and, 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 and things like that. But Jesus perceived in his spirit. And that spirit is, is, is the things of God. And, 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 and Jesus, and in doing that, you know, the Bible talks about and, and how we are to walk in the spirit and we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And, and the lust of the flesh, again, is based on feelings, it's based on the, the circumstances, it's based on the, the, the situation, it, it, it's, it's based on, uh, 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 you know, uh, wrong thinking, wrong believing, wrong uh, 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 information that you got on. And it's also blessed on when you're in the flesh. It's based on uh, human conjecture, human assumption, human uh, supposition, and human theory. And when you reason that way, it, it, it's process. It, it, you, you, might, you won't catch the, all the things of God. But Jesus perceived in his spirit. Walking in the spirit. And then said, why do you reason in, 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 in your heart? But, but, but perceive in your spirit. Perceive in the spirit of God. So then Jesus then goes on again. To, 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 to solidify this truth. He says, which one is easy to do? Tell this man that his sins are forgiven or rise up and walk. Again, he, he's, he's, he's in the spirit, Jesus. And, and listen, Lord, he didn't say nothing. So then Jesus said, not just to show you that the, that the Son of Man has power to forgive sins, past, present, and future, I'm going to tell this man to walk. You see, it's easy to say your sins are forgiven, but but it's uh, but to tell a, a paralyzed man to walk that's difficult. But we're in the spirit. What our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was perceiving, He said to, to, to prove what He said is true. He says, "I'm going to tell." This man to get up, take up his his his, his, uh, his mat, and walk, so that you can know that the Son of Man has a uh, 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 power to forgive sins, past, present, and future. And when you do that, you're perceiving in the spirit. So Jesus said, "Take up your mat and walk." And the paralyzed man, he took up his mat and he walked. And the audience started praise the Lord. They never saw anything like that because they were perceiving this now in their spirit. And this is the year 2021, 2021 believer in Christ in spirit. Where the apostle Paul said in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, 21, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. Christ lives in me and the life that I live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God. That's the Spirit. The Son of God who loves me. You, you know, you perceive that in your spirit. Who loves me. Therefore, I will, and gave his life for me. Therefore, I will not frustrate the grace of God. I'm going to perceive things in the Spirit of God. I'm going to walk in the Spirit. I'm not going to walk in the, in the lust of the flesh. Well, don't pride nothing. I'm not going to frustrate and walk in the spirit. See things uh, according, proceed things through the spirit. Why? Because if righteousness came by the law, that's the flesh. That's reasoning in your heart. That, uh, that's, that's, that's where your are based, based on feelings. That's based on the circumstances, situation. That's based on uh, uh, um, faulty uh, 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 reasoning based on, uh, 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 on the law. Or human conjecture, human assumption, human suppositions, human theory. I'm not, I'm not going to write this off the law. Because if doing that, then Christ died in vain. And we know that Christ died in vain. And so we're going to do what like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ do. We're going to perceive things in the spirit. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance to you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in the
an inheritance to those who are sanctified. In the precious name of the Savior Jesus Christ, amen. And out to him that is able, keep you from falling, present you faultless in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord, amen. Proceed in his spirit. God bless. God bless.